Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about Beauty News and one of my favorite brands, Shantikai. I'm going to show you the upcoming Spring 2022 makeup collection by Shantikai, which is already available on the website. Not for purchase, but you can get notified when it's going to be available for purchase. So we are going to take a closer look at that. And also I'm going to share with you some significant changes that are going to take place in Shantikai in 2022. At the end of December, Byersdorf announced that they agreed to acquire Shantikai Beauty. So we're going to be talking all about the acquisition process, what could possibly change in Shantikai Beauty and about the spring makeup collection. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, be sure to hit that subscribe button now and join the fun. And also don't forget to leave me a comment. Let's all discuss how these changes might affect our favorite brand, Shantikai, because I know that a lot of you guys love Shantikai. And actually in December, I got a lot of messages from you letting me know that Shantikai is being acquired by Byersdorf. A lot of you asked me to comment on this acquisition and how things are going to change. And that's why I thought that we could all come together and discuss everything because a lot of you guys are huge fans of the brand. I also love Shantikai and I know that so many of you have huge Shantikai make collection and I'm sure that you have a lot of things that you would want to share with us. So don't forget to leave me a comment to this video. But first of all, let's go ahead and have a closer look at the upcoming Shantikai Spring 2022 makeup collection, which looks very interesting to me. The whole collection is going to be dedicated to the giraffe and I'm going to be looking at my laptop right now because I'm looking at the photos and I'm also going to be inserting the photos right here or here so that you can have a look at the same photos with me. I'm very attracted to this new spring makeup collection by Shantikai. It's going to be all about the giraffe and there is going to be a limited edition eye quartet. So for spring 2022, Shantikai are releasing this beautiful limited edition eye quartet which features four eye colors. I am very tempted and if it is released in time here in Europe, I am definitely going to purchase this eyeshadow palette. Usually the Shantikai eyeshadows are quite good quality and the four shades look very neutral. The whole palette looks very beautiful to me and the four shades that we have are a matte brown shade. I can see, I can see a white pearly shade and then I can see a copper bronze and a chrome pearl. I can also see three limited edition lip sheets and they are in jasmine, which is a neutral soft peachy color, freesia, which is a beige rose color. I'm quite attracted to this one. And then we have willow, which is described as a sophisticated cool pink color. I, all three colors look very beautiful. I for sure I'm going to be skipping the lip colors because I purchased too many lipsticks lately and even though these look very beautiful I still have to choose what I'm going to buy and what I'm going to skip but I definitely want to get the eyeshadow palette because the colors look very beautiful. These look like the kind of colors that I can wear every single day. I wonder what is going to be the quality but probably it's going to be quite good. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and are you attracted to the lipstick? and to the eyeshadow palette. I think that they did a great job, but of course many times what we see on the photos it is not what we have in real life. So I'm quite curious to see how actually this, um, specifically the eyeshadow palette, how it's going to perform on my eyes and what is going to be the quality of the eyeshadows. Now the only issue that I have encountered with the Shantikai eyeshadow quads is that the pots are very small and quite uncomfortable. So I wish they were a little bit bigger. So basically the design of the eyeshadow palette on the inside, that's what I usually don't like about the, um, about the Shantikai eyeshadow quads, but still I'm very attracted to these colors. They look exactly like my kind of colors, the kind of colors that I can wear every single day. And some of the shades even look as beautiful one and done eye colors. Let's have a look at, for example, at this beautiful chrome pearl color. I think that it's going to be a gorgeous one and done eye color. So for sure, in my opinion, this is going to be worth the splurge and I'm going to try and get my hands on this eyeshadow palette. And now moving on to the other topic, at the end of December, we learned that Byersdorf is going to acquire Shantikai Beauty. In the end of December, a lot of you have been sending me messages and DMs on Instagram 
telling me that Beiersdorf is acquiring Shantakai and a lot of you were acting very emotionally. A lot of you were very unhappy with this decision of Shantakai. A lot of you have been asking me to comment on this acquisition and on the changes, but then I didn't want to comment until the time when I was sure that this was actually going to happen because I didn't want to spread false information, but it's already official. And Beiersdorf, at the end of December, de December 21st, Beiersdorf has officially announced that it has agreed to acquire the prestige beauty brand Shantakai. And I'm going to read you a little bit more of the details Details. This is official information from Beiersdorf. Shantakai will be managed separately as a complementary selective brand to Lapari. As a lot of you know, Beiersdorf own Nivea. I when I, when I hear Beiersdorf, I usually think of Nivea, and then apparently they own also Lapari, which is quite a premium skincare. And then also Beiersdorf say that the transition is subject to regulatory clearance and is expected to complete in the first quarter of the year. Shantakai is going to continue to act as an independently managed business in the Beiersdorf group. Now I wanted to comment on this. I know that a lot of you are going to be very emotional about this change because we all know that Shantakai is a family owned business and most of us love to support the brand exactly for that reason because it's a small company and because it's a family-owned business. I personally think that this is going to be a very positive change for Shantakai and apparently they were thinking a lot before making this decision. I think that it's not only about money but um, of course this is a business decision. At first when I learned the news from you guys I was very disappointed. I reacted just like you and I said oh no and like one of my favorite brands is acquired by a big um, company by a big corporation things are going to change the quality is not going to be the same but let's face the truth Shantikai are a great brand I absolutely love supporting the brand I absolutely love supporting their initiatives and I'm quite happy with everything they do but the quality of Shantikai let's face it it's not always there and they can do a lot to improve the quality of the brand Overall, I love Shantikai and I think that their marketing campaigns are always foolproof and they invest a lot in their marketing campaigns. Their relationships with influencers are amazing, but I think that they're investing too much in their influencer marketing campaigns. And let's face it, the influencer marketing campaigns always work because they have um, big influencers, small influencers promoting the brand all the time. But as a consumer, I can definitely see that there is a lot to be improved in Shantikai and over the years, every time when I'm purchasing a product from Shantikai or products from Shantikai, very often the packaging falls apart or the product falls apart with Shantikai. I love the brand, but I have to admit that with Shantikai products, they are a hit or miss. And this, in my opinion, is not acceptable for a luxury brand. So that's why I think that this is a very positive change because now that they are going to be part of the Beiersdorf group, I think that they're going to have probably a lot more time, money, and I, I, I hope that they're going to focus more on quality control because I receive a lot of feedback from you guys and I know that very often this doesn't happen only to me that the products fall apart and the packaging falls apart and there are ser serious misses in terms of quality. Somehow in the past years since I've started using Shantakai they cannot focus and they cannot pay enough attention on the quality control of their products. Probably it's the factory where the products are produced I don't know but if I purchase three Shantakai products, it's going to be completely normal for me, one of them to fall apart completely, something to happen with the packaging or with the powder or something just not to be right. And I think that this was a serious con of Shantakai as a brand because it's one of the most expensive brands. A lot of their products are more expensive than Chanel, more expensive than Dior, more expensive than Hermes Beauty. And I think that with these prices, we all expect the highest quality. And I know that a lot of you have given up and do not purchase Shantikai products just because you have encountered the same, the exact same issues as me, the packaging falling apart, something not being right with the product and just, it is not okay for a luxury brand. So with that being said, I'm very much looking forward to this change and I'm very much looking forward to see what 
is going to be the impact of Byersdorf on Shantikai. I hope only for positive changes and I hope that um, the quality of the product is going to improve, the quality of the packaging is going to improve and overall we are going to get a better quality product from now on because as I said, Shantikai have, I think they have the most impressive marketing campaigns with um, you know all the charity campaigns that they do. They have a very strong focus on sustainability and as I said, they invest a lot in the marketing campaigns, which is great, but I think that they were always missing the quality control of their products. And somehow they didn't pay attention that the quality is not there, not all the time. Like sometimes the quality is going to be amazing and I'm gonna be so happy, so impressed with the products that I'm purchasing, but other times then the product was going to be a complete fail. And I've shared with you many times the fails that I had with Shantikai. I feel like this is a brand that keeps very close relationship with a lot of influencers and that's why they always get those really positive, super bright reviews which is great, but somehow they miss to pay attention. And this is something very important for me. So that's why I'm thinking that this is going to be a very positive change about Shantikai because as a content creator, I buy a lot of products. And even though a lot of times I have been disappointed from the packaging, from the product that is falling apart, I will still keep buying their products because I want to review them on YouTube. I want to save you the money. I want to save you the, you know, the whole fuss. And I'm going to always keep purchasing the products. I'm always going to keep buying the products. But from a consumer point of view, if I didn't have the YouTube channel the first time when the packaging falls apart, I was going to say, okay, that's probably a mistake. But then the second time, I was not going to buy a third time. So in that sense, I think that this change that is coming in 2022 is going to be very positive for Shantikai. I am expecting a lot more from Shantikai in terms of quality. I'm expecting um, less fails from Shantikai. And yes, I'm going to be a lot more demanding from now on to Shantikai. So I think that was all for today's video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the upcoming spring 2022 makeup collections. Are you looking forward to this makeup collection? What are you planning to purchase? And also don't forget to let me know what you think of the acquisition of Shantikai. And let's go ahead and take this as a positive and let's think about all of the positive things that might come out from this acquisition and from this cooperation because I always like to look at the positive sides and Apparently, this is not something that we can change. It's not something that depends on us. So let's go ahead and think about all of the positive changes that Shantikai could make with this new acquisition. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do in 2022 and how this whole collaboration is going to develop. And thank you so much for watching this video. I always appreciate your time so much when you watch my videos. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.